All right, welcome to the Pittsburgh Cultural Council's uh, grant meeting on Tuesday, December 3rd. We're opening the meeting at 448, January 3rd, 2023. We're opening this meeting at 448 p.m. The, Mass the Pittsburgh Cultural Council is part of the Massachusetts Cultural Council, a local group here. We're all volunteers put in place by City Hall. And um, I'm happy to be here. Anybody who would like to speak on a matter that's on the agenda tonight from the public is welcome to do so. And we do have someone from the public with us today, which is Derek Craig. Um, everything here is being recorded and held for the future. So we need to keep that in mind with our comments, but it is for public use. So we're going to start today with our um, grant reviews. We are going to start with Derek's application. And this was one of the early applications that we had. So the number for everybody is page uh, 83. It's application 26248. And this was Derek Craig requesting 1,000 for an album release. So since Derek is here with us today, thank you so much for coming. Could you tell us a little bit about your project? Yes. Uh, so the project is, um, as I said in the, in the summary, it's a 17, six, it says 16, but it's now 17 um, for an album uh, with uh, my studio partner. Um, who's that? Uh, Joseph Murchison. And um, basically, we are applying to at least finish the production and release the album. Um, then we'll then come with the album release party or not a release, but the performance. Um, part of the performance will include like visuals, videos, um, artwork, uh, things like that. Uh, but that part is not done yet. So um, that is kind of where uh, like the pass the offs and getting people, inviting people to our studio. So it's really an open invite. It's, it's everybody, but it's like specifically like we're doing hip hop music. So uh, it also require it would require RSVP because the participants would have to RSVP. Um, the listening party would include a lot of the people who are our collaborators on this album and other works um, who are local. Is it open to the public? Yes. So anybody who wanted to attend could yes. You didn't have to yeah. confirm their attendance with our team. So the one is for finishing the album and for the uh for the album release. But the it's specifically for finishing the album. So the in total, I, I think I wrote um like so we're uh our rough projected income to finish would be about five thousand dollars. Finish everything, including like hosting putting the event together. Um, and that's just because I think um, like that put like mixing and mastering, um, commissioning a local artist who I put, I put by was legit, um, to do artwork and then uh, additional visuals by other local videographers and filmographers, um, Children's uh, Bliss, Raymond, and Gary Gone were all, uh, you know, local film, filmmakers and videographers and photographers. Thank you, Derek. So can we put a motion on the table and then we can all ask our questions if we have any. Would anybody like to make a motion on this application? I motion to approve this application. I'll second. So we have a motion from Sharon and a second from Liz. Um, is anyone speaking to the motion? Okay, so we have a second and a motion. Second. Second. Okay. Um, is the pass the ox party separate from the spring listening party that used to be done that? Yes. Oh. So the, the past the, the past the ox is for so for us to invite um people in media or taste makers who are not just locally but regionally and then to invite other artists who are also releasing music or have music. It's like a it's a networking Mm -hmm. So, like, if a producer just makes beats and they're looking for an, an artist or a singer or someone, hopefully that, you know, that would be the time to, you know, connect. And also for, um, like, the local music scene to kind of get excited about each other's work, especially going into like, this new year. Yeah. Okay. Great. Audrey? Um, in your list of individuals um, or organizations that will be involved with the community, um, uh, 
uh, planning. Um, uh, it's a list um, predominantly like other performers that are going to be on the album or. Yes. Um, so, so we're, uh, yes, Joe Merson is, is the full collaborate, collaborator on the album. And then on the album will be Miami Jordan, uh, American Reef. The No Town Production is actually our mixing and mastering um, services. Um, looks legit or closed by just uh, closed by Looks Legit. And then Justin Sarbell is a of artist. And then Sean, Brady, Kyle, Cindio, Kia, Wayne. Uh, the first parish church is um, so they're there. And so the performance part of the spring is that once the album is completed, is that we hold an event inside Phillips Hall. Um, they've been trying to renovate it, get money, things like that. So that's that's where that cost for twenty dollars, like so that like you know part of part of the twenty dollars will go to like being able to put the event together. But really, you know, the ticket of the will go to the church and their their efforts to renovate the hall. Um, but yeah, uh, the other I put waiting confirmation. I do have other confirmations and additional people who are not on here, but um, Joe. Uh, I just thought Joe was saying, I was uh, browsing through events, so I was trying to, trying to uh, relate it to things we've moved in the past. And um, I think that this, uh, this application, the way it is written, it's really, it's no different than what we have approved in the past, which is a Um This is with the performers together, brought on production, and they open it up to the public. It's not acting, and it is kind of not acting, but that's what performance is. Um, but uh, this is more music versus Theater, I guess, mm -hmm. but it's the same context. And um, so I, I encourage you uh, to consider it in that context. Yeah, I agree with John. Um, yeah. It feels like it's eligible for the sound. Look at it through the performance. Level. I agree. So, anybody else? Any other questions? All in favor? Motion carries. Your funding there. Thank you. Right. Yay. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you guys. Thanks, yeah, thanks for coming and, and clearing up the question. I'll see you guys soon. Thank, Thank you for attending our agenda for us. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the first date. Um, okay, guys. So the next. Uh, are you ready to move yeah. on? Yeah. All right. So the next thing is. um. So next one is page 443. It's 40745. So let me just set this up really quick. And then we'll take a motion to discuss it. Um we denied this because there we we have Someone approved, approved this because, um, but asked for a letter. I did not send the grant number because Stageworks had two grants submitted. They sent in a letter from the venue, which was the wrong venue. We therefore had to deny it because of our vote at the end of the last uh, meeting to cover all the ones that hadn't submitted the letter on time. The Stageworks, Matthew Valeri is the person here. He submitted an appeal to the Mass Council. The Mass Council called me. They wanted to know what happened. Um, I explained the situation. The event already took place. It took place in July. So Matthew basically submitted to the Mass Council and to us an um, invoice, if you will. I hope everybody's got a copy of it. Um, and the Mass Council wrote us a letter and said that they were um, submitting this back to us for a review. And I have the letter in front of you. I don't think I need to read it in front of the camera. Um, so basically, if we could take a motion to discuss it, that would be great. Motion to move this forward for funding. Thank you. We have a motion from Liz and a second from Audrey. So anybody speaking to the motion? Sure. Um, I think that considering the fact that this was already done that having a, a letter from the venue is moot and i think that on that basis alone that we should 
um, that we should accept it. Sure. That was the thing that made us. Uh, Thank you. Chair um, completed the sentence that I was going to complete for her. <laughs> so, yeah, so it was only disqualification we had. Any other comments? Say that one more time, Chair, before I read this. I'm sorry. That the only reason that it was declined last time was the, the letter from the venue, and that's moot since the event already happened. So I see no reason not to approve it at this point. Any other comments or can we take a vote? Hello, all in favor? All. Aye. So motion carries. So application 407 or five, four five is funded. Okay. Cool. Thanks, guys. Number 55. All right. So last but not least, I don't know how to share this. Um we have an Excel file which has all of our amounts of math in here, which Joe had set up years ago and has kind of kindly walked me through all these years staying on his ex officio, so I appreciate that, Joe. Um, he walked Liz through the process. It's not in the drive because I don't know how to get it in there. Unless oh, it's, it's different the than the one that's in the drive? No, it's a different it's this one on my screen. Oh, um, I guess you would have to log into... Uh, you did? I did try to put it in the drive, but I... Oh, no, no, no. I mean, log into the Oh. Brian can share. You can make you... Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, I'll give you the Zoom ID. So... I actually was crunching the number that phone just because I was curious and we didn't have it all. That was actually... It's so awesome how it works. It's worth every little bit. Yeah, because we're funding it. It's partly funding a lot. I think we're fully funding at least 30. The proposal is 30. No, Joe, we're going to sit on the There were a couple of them that, like, we had, um, I had written notes that people had mentioned that they wanted to reconsider it on certain finances. So, did you create, like, a all right, now screen share. Do we have to give her um, presenter status? Probably have to give her Let's see. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, but before I share the screen, let me just set it up really quick. So Liz gave us the number of 58844 that we could find, that we could use, that we could spend. So we had, yeah. The from the software gave us the software. So. Oh, that is uh, yeah, that that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that's yeah. including it's what mass cultural council software. Yeah. So right. It's five eight eight five dollars. So we had seventy nine thousand two hundred and forty three requested. Um, and then let's see. Seventy nine thousand were used for clients. Oh, okay. 39243 was approved for funding. What's that label? Oh, there it is. Does that work? I can see it now. Yep, we can see it now. I think Not that you can read it, but yeah, you're going to kind of read it. Can you kind of read it? Right. Yeah. So here's the number right here the 58. Yeah, 58844. Okay, so of course, everybody else can do a better job of sending this than me, but basically, uh, yes, please, please do. Yeah. I kind of want to address some um, initial questions before we started. This, this was made assuming no suggestions. Okay. So, the regular formula, and if the council is so moved to discuss and authorize changes to that, we can adjust on the recording. Keeping in mind that if we're going to give more to certain applications, we have to take from others on the proposal. And it's just a matter of deciding what that is. Okay. 
So with that, um, I think we can probably take a meeting. Can we? Yeah, sure. So basically having it like it all we always have since I've been here, which is the cap basically of the 1500. So doing that like actually funds all the small grants completely. So they're at the top here. So it kind of, am I going not high enough? Does it go even further? Um, should we, um, right? Yeah, we, we started with a thousand and realized that we needed to raise it because we had a lot more money to give, which is really great for our pitch bird. And so we were able to determine that to fund the most number of applications. We set a cap at seventeen hundred forty-six dollars per per application. Mm -hmm. Per application, so all applications that were requested at seventeen forty-six and under were fully funded. And then you take the balance of the ones that were that had excess of that amount, correct? And less, correct? And, and divide that up among the Yeah. Totally. So, so we fully funded every application up through the. The Sizer Band Club that asked for seventeen fifteen. That one there, the Wilson. Yeah, through Sizer, everything was fully really funded. Right. So they got what they asked for, and then Rollstone from what was last. Um, oh, 15, 15 applications because we we made a little cheat sheet down at the bottom. Uh, well, not cheat sheet, but talking right. points there. Fifteen applications that were partially funded, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Only fifteen. So how many? Sorry, this is great to know. How, how many, many total applications are funded? At the very bottom, there, forty-seven. Yeah. Forty-seven applications. Forty-seven applications were fully funded. Forty-seven applications. Yeah. Thirty-two. I'm sorry. That we we funded. Yep. Total of forty-seven applications. Total. Yeah. That we authorized the funding. Yeah. Out of that, thirty-two of them, sixty-eight percent of them, were fully funded. Oh wow, that's one fifty percent. And fifteen, 15 applications were partially. They a lot of those cost for like five thousand yeah. twenty-five. You see up there, three thousand thirty-three hundred. Okay, so it's pretty. So that is already done. Yeah. Yes. So we just got to approve this, this wonderful year equipment spread. Right. So unless, unless, unless somebody wants to, discuss, someone wants to discuss it further, and I recommend that any discussion, whether it be devoted as is or vote with some changes that sort of motion is placed for the meeting to discuss on the table. So that's what we're going to discuss. Before we make a motion, do we need to make the motion excluding Shara's application so that, you know, that way Shara can vote for it? That's a very good point, Ari. Um, I believe the best approach for this would be for us to, if there are motions to make adjustments, um, so we'll make those motions first. And then when it comes to funding, we'll do a vote on Shara's application with her outside of the room. And then invite her back to go on with us. We know I'm a quorum board, because that's okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's all we have in the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then that way everyone can clearly see it as well. Yeah. Right, because I can't can, really maybe it would be absorb it from there. Yeah, we can't have anything. Because we even if we need to know what the staff the status of Shadow's funding will be before we can borrow our options. Oh, oh because, right. Sorry. And I could leave the room and you could talk, but it's but there's not a quorum there on the harm. Yeah. This is only five yeah. minutes. So um, can we have the conversation about whether or not we wanted to make adjustments to anything else? Because that would if, if the answer was no, yes. then that would have an impact on the ability to vote. Right. Yes. We can um, we can discuss uh or vote on whether we want to make adjustments. So for clarification, um, how much did um, Mass Cultural Council give us? Is it more than what was requested? No, you know, no. no. it's a little bit hard to read. No, the Cultural Council gave us $56,500. No, they gave us forty eight dollars for plus this other amount. Is that all right? We didn't work on that 
Oh, those are last year's numbers? Yeah. No, okay. Gave us 50, I, have, I have the finance report here. They gave okay. us 56500 for this year, and then we had a balance from some yeah. of the things last year that didn't go on. Yeah. So we have a balance of 29000 Keeping our local funds separate and the administrative funds separate. Transistor balance of 56 for our total allocation. So it must be the that no, it's it's that minus that equals that. Yeah. I'm just I'm just thinking that like if we have yeah, more than the, uh, enough to give then like you know, I mean I can list all the ones that people mentioned that they want to consider, but you know, it's like more than enough. Yeah. We have less money. Than the applications Okay. Okay. So we don't have any extra money lying around okay. there. Out of this. Otherwise, we wouldn't fully cover everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that help answer your question, or do you need further clarification? Uh, I'm not sure that. Means. Like I just put numbers into boxes, and it spits things out. So I, it's all good. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't. But it would be this minus this. So minus the admin. Oh, minus. No, that's in the allocation. So that should be all the minus it. But then it should be plus this. Should be plus this. Should be plus this. Yeah. So we don't have any extra money lying It's what our report shows we have. Right, it does. And I'm sure that number is right. And yeah, that's what we've already submitted. Yeah, so that's what it is. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, I have to reopen the whole thing. Right. We're going to put yeah. it back. So, yeah, really, really yeah. yeah, so the yeah. number is different. We were given 56 cents. Our administrative was 2300. We had some we had to carry over. Unspent funds. Yeah. So it's back in there. And some yeah. And just going forward, um, hopefully that unspent funds piece will be a little bit cleaner. It was certainly cleaner this year because for the most part, we could say we, we weren't getting any more extensions after what was it, July, whatever it was, was the last extension for the old grants. Mm -hmm. So as long as we don't keep doing these extensions of old grants, it should be very clean for us going forward to take whatever wasn't spent from the grants in the, not the current year that we're in, but the previous year that had completed, whatever's not spent from that can be reallocated. And now that the pandemic is sort of okay, right. we shouldn't, we shouldn't be, have, yeah, we shouldn't be as really we should be making a lot of eggs. Mm -hmm. No, this time we should. Yeah. So, in other words, we can't vote on this because we have to share our room, and that affects all the events. Well, we could, we could vote on changes. We could vote on changes. Changes the or not. Or not. Yeah, the so off out of the <clears throat> out of the proposal. We want to make that those changes. We want to make those changes. We can vote on them next week. We should vote tonight. Next week, on the next week, the next week. I mean, we said if there are no, if there's no interest in making adjustments to funding, 
Um, we should vote that. I just want to say I don't see the point. Yeah, I don't see I any mean, I don't see this point in complicating things. I mean, we're playing mm -hmm. favorites, and then the community knows we're playing favorites. So yeah. But before we do that, technically, right? I just remembered that um, um, in terms of a uh, grant, no, not grant modification, but um, reconsideration. I know that Gina was trying to fill out a reconsideration and she was having trouble at asking, like, she had to go through the council, mass council. Like once it kicks, it kicks yeah. off an automated email. Yeah. Like they have to do go through the council steps. Right. Okay, so she wasn't able to uh, submit. Okay. I, well, Hanako would have emailed us. And then when I came in, like right. she would have told us. In fact, she knew about this one today and she knew we were meeting tonight. And, and she would have said that she knew about this one today. And she knew we were meeting tonight. And the deadline was today. Yeah. So, okay. I just want to make sure that, yeah. So I would make a motion to keep all of the grant allocation amounts that are on the spreadsheet now. Listen. So we do that with Shara here. I think we can since I don't know what it is, what what you guys agree to on my I think that that should be okay. Right? Because it's a blanket statement, it's not I'm just gonna vote for this again in two. And so we I, I think I think we uh, have a real quorum. Uh, so, so, yeah. So, but I, it sounds like for the most part that the math that we're going to keep plain and simple in the next week, two weeks. But quorum. It's also like difficult to say whether or not it's worth noting the ones that we said we want to reconsider without. Um, being able to find the look at you know, the motion. Well, I mean, like, you know, since the quarter meeting in a couple of weeks, I'll have time to look at the spreadsheet. My question is, can we have one person to talk? Leona resigned because that she did. Oh, she did. She, did. she sent an email to the mayor. Oh, oh. Yeah. It does. It did. Hold on. How it many does. So, what is that for? So, uh, am I not? Four. Do we, was there any kind of process that needs to happen after an email? I and mean, they should have let us, the city should have told us. But you know, you know, you know, you me and well, you're the treasurer. So well, I also had a conversation with them. It's like such a four. Yeah. Yeah, so that so means there are eight members. Oh, good. Oh, right. wait. So wait, that means there are eight members that still have to be like four and a half. Right? Oh, four and a half. Casey, let me tell right now. <laughs> I mean, I haven't heard anything of her officially, even though she said she checked it out for sure. And she said she said it's much better. We have to get her officially. No. Okay, so we can't vote. That vote's fine. So we need to make sure we need to sit. Yeah. And do we? Here's a question. <clears throat> It's in fire alive. Do we want to have the next? What about the summits? Is Sam still considered? Yeah. Sam with mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It's, it's really frustrating to have people on the board who are not being active at all because it, it ties our hands. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, do we want to meet next week or do we want to wait since we've um, approved and denied everything we had to do? Well, the 15 days have passed. Do we want to meet next week or do we want to meet the week after? Thanks. Quite frankly, I think we got a. Mm -hmm. I mean, hypothetically, we have the 10th already on the calendar. Well, let's keep the 10th. Sure. Because we just need to make sure I need to go up. And give me more time to finish the paper. The 10th instead of the 17th. Okay. And we're doing virtual. Okay. Do we need? I mean, oh, let me just see what we discussed. Most of the reason why I was in the mask. Yeah. And if you and Liz worked on it together, then we can probably answer the question. Well, what questions? Well, actually, what questions will have? Well, I would like to have you prepared because Joe has helped us for so long. Yeah. And Joe doesn't attend. I will not be able to answer the questions. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, like, those are the questions I can answer. Like, how the math was done in that. That's 
if there are any spreadsheet adjustments that need to be made, would you be able to do that? Um, we also might want to make it kind of to double check that Eileen's not going to make it so that we can have all All right, so we're meeting next week. And I just emailed you, Tamar, um, uh, forward to you and I'm Thanks. Thanks, Thank good to know. Thanks, Leona, for helping us. And, uh, we wish you well in your other endeavors. Which mm -hmm. you're doing a lot of great community work. Yes. <laughs> all right, so is that it? Looks like it is. Yeah. All right, so, so are we, are we are going to um, wait, you know, check in with Irene and make sure she's able to make it so that. Mm -hmm. We can have our full forum. Plus, we actually have to have six because we need to have Sean step out. Yeah. That's right. So it's not even four. It's more than one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so who else? Casey. Um, Sam. Yeah. Sam so, so. And then I. Who are the other folks? All right, so Casey. Who are the other folks that aren't attending? That well, Leona, but now she she's not here. And then mm -hmm. Casey, and it's Casey. Yeah. Said she didn't want to yeah. number anymore, but hasn't resigned formally. No. So I'm still on our I will. I will say, admittedly, in a couple a couple meetings ago, I said that I sent an email to all the people who have been inactive. That was really draft, so I never actually sent it. So you know, to be fair to them. <laughs> Mm. All right, but, but yeah, are we good? Everybody, for that, we 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 take a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Take a motion for AJ. There we go. Take a shower. <laughs> We're adjourned at 5 20 p.m. All in favor. Aye. Aye.